welcome back. We are now on the second video for chapter six, homework two. And as we look at the back, we notice that the directions have changed. So let's take a look. It says, state if each pair of triangles are similar. If so, state the theorem and complete this similarity statement. So our choices are double A, triple S, SAS, or not. This was like our homework last time. So let's try this out. Uh, and it's also like the Kahoot, double A, triple S, SAS, or not. So let's take a look. Hmm. This is looking like maybe it's SAS because I have a side that I know about, an angle, and a side. A side that I know about, 20, an angle, and a side. Now those two angles are equal because of vertical. Okay, so now I want to say SAS, but the sides do have to make the same ratio. So I'm going to order them least to greatest, 20, 24, and then 45, 54. And I'm not going to cross multiply to solve. I'm actually going to verify that these cross products are equal. So I'm getting out my little butterfly antennas. 45 times 24 is 1080. 20 times 54 is also 1080. So this is yes because of SAS. Yes, they are similar. Now let's name it. So let's see how they named it, S. So we know we're gonna have to start with S because we know that's the congruent angle. And then they go R and Q. So they went S across the small side and then the unknown. So we gotta do the same thing here, S across the small side, which is 20, and then the unknown side. So I have to name this S, E, D. Okay. Next one. We have, hmm, pretty interesting here. This is six and eight. So I'm gonna draw these separate. Uh, this is 16 on the baby, and I have to subtract to figure out the side of 28. Okay, so thinking about segment addition, this segment HQ plus segment QG, 15, those two numbers add up to 43. So the side of the baby is 28, and the mom, 43. And the bottom of the mom, I actually have to add these together. And I get 24. Now, notice that both of them have angle H. Both the mom and the baby have angle H. So this would be SAS if these work out. So let's set them up least to greatest, least to greatest cross multiply to see if their cross products are equal, which would confirm that they are the same ratio. So I get 688, 672. So anytime I get a problem, I wanna just reconfirm my math. So I'm gonna go back here, 43, minus the 15, and I get 28. Okay, so I feel good about that and 16 plus eight, I get 24. Okay, now let's make sure I ordered them least to greatest. So I did 16 and 28, and then I did 24 and 43. So 16, 28, 24, 43, and let me just double check my cross product. 24 times 28, 672, 16 times 43, 688. Ah, I gotta put, not similar. Next. Hmm. I don't see any side evidence. So if this is going to be congruent, or excuse me, similar, it's probably only going to be because of angle, angle, because I don't have any side information, just angle information. So let's take a look. 47 and 47 match. 66 and 66 match. So that's, yes, angle, angle similarity. Now let's name them. I put one necklace on W and one necklace on Q because they're both 47, okay? And V, I put two necklaces on V and on R because they're both 66. And we could solve for this missing angle, but we don't need to. These angles are going to be equal to each other. 
because of the triangle sum theorem. Next one. Okay. So I'm going to just redraw this baby, 2133. And it looks like both the baby and the mom have this angle, H. Now I'm going to redraw the mom, 77, angle H, and 121. Okay. So I have all my information. I just need to order them least to greatest. So I'm actually going to go over here. 2133, 77, 121. Okay, cross multiply to confirm that they have the same cross product, which tells me that indeed they are the same ratio. So I get 2541, 2541. So I'm going to say yes because of SAS, side, angle, side, side, angle, side. Okay, now how did they name it? So it looks like they named the mom HGF, so they went across the big side and then across the side they didn't know about, HGF. Across the big side and the side they didn't know about. So I'm gonna do the same thing here across the big side, 33, and then the side I don't know about, H-M-N. Hmm, interesting. It looks like I only have two pieces of side evidence, and we don't have a side-side similarity rule. We need all three sides. But if I notice, there's actually a vertical angle there. So this would be side, angle, side, side, angle, side, if and only if these sides do make the same ratio. So let's check out their ratios. Ordering them least to greatest, 3 and 6, least to greatest, 15 and 30. If their cross products are equal, we've confirmed they make the same ratio. So that'd be 900. Or 90, what am I saying? Sorry about that. 30 times 3 is 90, 15 times 6 is also 90, so this will be yes because of side angle side similarity, and let's name this bad boy. So S is the angle we have in common, so I'm going to start with S, then they went across the big side of mom, and then the side we don't know about. So we're going to do the same thing here, across the big side of baby is the number 6, and the side we don't know about, so S, L, M. Last question, yay. So I have three pieces of side evidence and three pieces of side evidence. So if all these ratios end up the same, we're gonna say yes because of side, side, side similarity. Oops, I gotta order these least to greatest. So I gotta be real careful with that. So least to greatest, six, seven, eight, least to greatest, 30, 35, 40. Okay, looking good. So when I take the cross product here, I get 210. Let's take the cross product here. Two ten. Okay. Now some people are struggling with this. You can rewrite if there's just too much going on. You can rewrite the other two ratios. Um and take the cross product, so that'd be 280. Two eighty. Okay, so this is gonna be yes, because of side, side, side similarity. Now let's name them. So C, D, E, C, D, E. They went across the big side and then the middle side. So I want to do the same thing. I want to go across the big side, 8, and the middle side, 7. So I have to call this PQR. Thanks so much for joining us. Enjoy your weekend.